I care about the environment, perhaps more than anything else. At my age, it's come down to this thing about wanting to leave the world a better place than it was. And that's important. Now, if you can believe it, this is a difficult thing in Canada to be a part of today. Because under the Stephen Harper Conservative government, environmentalists, people that care about the environment, have been uh, targeted for being radical. I mean, it's been all sorts of things said, like that there's foreign money, laundered money being funneled into environmental charities, and uh, that all environmentalists want to do is make Canada into a big national park that people don't care about the economy of the tar sands in Alberta and that we have to produce the oil from it and Canada is going to be this big huge oil superpower from the tar sands and I can understand the economic ramifications of that but you can take all your economy all your money and shove it where the sun don't shine because ultimately when it comes down to it if you screw up the environment if the planet is destroyed not uh, all the money in the world is going to be good for anything so I'm making a video about salmon because I'm really concerned about our salmon populations. Recently it was uh, revealed that in California, tuna, two-year-old tuna, 13 pounds average weight, were found to be contaminated with radiation from the Japanese Fukushima uh, radiation disaster caused by the earthquake and the tsunami. And I am very uh, fearful that the salmon that migrate in the oceans will also become infected or not infected but will also be contaminated with that radiation but they have many other things to contend with here in British Columbia we have a lot of new salmon farms up and down the coast and environmentalists have been saying for a long time that be weary because in most places where they've had salmon farming whether it's down in Chile or over in the Norway in the fjords and that diseases have broken out and one of the biggest fears is that these diseases from the farm fish will infect the wild populations now our government and the uh, fish farms have been reassuring us none of that will happen that's not gonna happen well guess what this May, more than 500,000 fish had to be destroyed at one salmon farm. And then shortly thereafter, a second salmon farm in the coast was quarantined. Following that, a third salmon farm has been quarantined. Hundreds of thousands of fish destroyed. Now that's one aspect of it, but the other thing that you've got to wonder about is if these viruses make it out into the wild population, what's going to happen? Because salmon are in a huge decline. So our government in British Columbia, now I said already that the federal government from Ottawa under Stephen Harper is concerned about environmentalists. Well, here in British Columbia, because of uh, lobbies, lobbyists from the salmon farming industry what they've done now is they're trying to introduce this new legislation to prevent people from talking or disclosing anything to do with diseases breaking out at farms and this although it applies to salmon farms it applies to everything else as it was reported in the newspaper article even if an avian flu were to break out at one of the chicken farms or if you have mad cow disease or anything like that to talk about it could become against the law it's to protect the industry and I wonder to myself like what is happening with morality and values in government and in industry itself when they put sheer profit above everything else about people's right to know I mean I'm in my mid 50s and if somebody would have told me that this was going to be the uh, future in Canada back 20, 25 years ago, I would have said, you're nuts. You're talking about Russia, Soviet Union, uh, you're talking about China, North Korea, all these communist places where the right of freedom, of media, of press is being oppressed. This will never happen in our free democratic countries. I mean, we have people fighting in wars around the world to bring freedom to people for freedom of the press, freedom of expression. And that this is going to be the 
ultimate result in our own countries it just seems beyond belief so I'm making this video once again and I'm talking about the people better wake up and see what's happening and if you have any concerns whether you're in Canada or around the world let the governments in Canada know that the environment matters I mean our government was one of the few ones that pulled out a Kyoto agreement we're not gonna meet uh, obligations that have been put forward about uh, co2 emissions into the atmosphere all sorts of different things and when you see the wild salmon and realize that they can be eliminated so quickly and that it takes so long and all conditions have to be right for their population to rebuild again so if they got things happening in the ocean with radiation and they got viruses along the coast where the salmon congregate as they're coming back to the rivers to spawn it's it's a tragedy waiting to unfold and uh, if you're not familiar with the salmon you have to realize also that these salmon you see here these crimson red sockeye salmon swim right back into the same rivers the same channels the same place where they were hatched four years ago four years ago they swim right up the rivers they lay their eggs in some of the sequences you can see little orange balls drifting by those are salmon eggs and they settle on the bottom and in the springtime the small eggs hatch and the little fish make their way down the rivers past dams past birds they get into the ocean they gotta survive from seals from killer whales from the pollution everything else to return four years later and even then when they're returning they face things like bears and eagles and all sorts of different things on their migration back to the same rivers it's a wonder of nature I mean it's it's absolutely amazing what we have on this earth what we have had given to us and to think that one generation could wipe it all out is just just not acceptable not acceptable I am an environmentalist I do not mind being called a radical environmentalist and I will do whatever I can to keep the word out there and keep caring for our nature and for us Canadians that doesn't mean that we just look over the uh, fence and talk about Brazil and the cutting down of the jungle or the killing of tigers in Africa for body parts uh, shooting wolves in Alaska or whatever we have to look in our own backyard and be responsible stewards of our land for our kids at least that's the way I see it. Hey, that's some more eggs. Oh, Look at them in there. So I'm not sure it's still recording. Remember how I was saying that, when you see how 